Hey guys, so it's Jan here from Laser Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at the Hellregal Defensive in Battlefield 1. Now, I know I'm a bit late on this. Um, I had some series of events that prevented me from posting videos. So first, um, about four or five days ago, I got my computer taken away. Completely my fault. Um, kind of deserved it, but my mom took my computer away. And then, right after that, I went to San Francisco. So, I was going to post a video last Thursday. Couldn't do that. Obviously couldn't prepare any videos for the weekend, so here we are. I'm going to try to sort of work through all the new DLC weapons that we're getting, and these weapons are most likely going to be free. I can't imagine them charging money for these. Um, these are just sort of extra weapons that we get in the game, and they're just variants of these standard weapons. So I'll put the weapons up on screen that we're getting, images of all of them. Um, I believe we're getting a Hugo variant, a Hell Regal 1915 defensive, um, and another self slater variant it's basically all the level 10 weapons are getting more variants so the martini henry's getting a scope variant and then the hell regal gets 120 round magazine variant and then the other two the huo and i can't i'm blanking on what the medic rifle is because it's just terrible the rank 10 medic rifle but the two biggest ones here are the hell regal because it doubles the magazine size and gives it a bipod and then the martini henry gets a scoped variant which is something me and my friend were talking about just a few weeks ago it'd be cool if we got a scope variant but today we're just going to be looking at the Hell Regal Defensive. So this weapon is equipped with a bipod and extended magazine. Uh, this F SMG pattern offers improved firepower when deployed, but is less stable when unsupported. So it ha I'll show you the recoil patterns um, later in the video, but it actually has uh, worse recoil when you're just standing up. Um, it's still not that bad that uh, Hell Regal does not have bad recoil at all. Um, but it has much improved recoil with the bipod. So it has a bipod similar to the Ribby Roll. Um, it has a 120 round magazine. And one thing is you can't just fire off all 120 rounds at once. It has a 40 round cooldown similar to the Hell Regal Factory. But I doubt you'll be holding this weapon down for more than 40 bullets at once. I actually never even ran into the cooldown until I was testing this weapon. And then I had to go back in the main game and test the Hell Regal just to see if they were similar. I actually don't have any kills with this weapon as of right now. Uh, that's just simply because... Uh, there wasn't anyone on the CTE. As I said, I'm like four or five days late to this hype. So no one was on the CTE servers testing this out. Um, so I wasn't able to get any gameplay with it. But I do have just some sort of cinematics of me shooting it. It also has a pop-up sight, which is pretty cool for the Hell Regal. I actually like that a lot. Um, and this sort of just opens up um, more realms into what we might see with a future DLC in this game. I really hope they just add more and more um, variants to the weapons that are currently in the game because it'll just continue to sort of give a consistent uh, stream of extra content that will keep this game alive because one DLC every six months um, which is sort of what we're slated for right now isn't going to cut it as far as this game goes. Tell me you think about these new weapons. I'll have more in-depth videos of them in the future. I'm trying to uh, make videos about Hardline because I haven't posted a Hardline video in a while and I know a lot of my fans like Hardline. I also want to make a video on the new Call of Duty leak, the World War II one, because if it is World War II, I'll be super hyped for the next COD. But uh, don't forget to drop a like down below, tell me what you think, but that's what it was for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.